this is not gonna be a review. There are plenty of those. This is me looking at actually buying one of these. Either this uh, supermoto or the enduro. Can't really still decide. And this is, yeah, just testing, testing. Absolutely gorgeous and low. You guys have no idea how long I've waited for this. A Husqvarna. I mean, that thing just looks so damn pretty. I mean, I still need to see it for myself. Because recently my mind has mostly been set on the Husqvarna 701 and actually even the supermoto because that makes more sense because I'm 95%, even 98% of the time I spend actually on the hard stuff. Oh! Yep, that's an acro. Oh, that's the horn. <laughs> okay. She feels really, really light. That's my first impression. The mirrors are nice. I mean, they look ugly, but... But they sure function well. First impression also, a little bit vibey, I'd say. Like the rumble of the Acra. Trying to compare it to my own bike, but the thing is I haven't ridden mine for a while because it's broken. Also the reason why I want to buy a new one. I'm sick and tired of fixing my bike. But she feels very light, like a bicycle. And of course, the go is cool. I'm trying to contain myself. Yeah. Wow, she is so flickable. I can see why it's a hooligan bike. But yeah, trying to keep a steady pace in the city is a little bit challenging because the throttle is very, very sensitive. Wow. Not really a lot of uh, engine braking. Almost none at all. Let's see what... Yeah, even from higher revs, the engine braking is nothing like my bike, which will lock up the rear wheel really easy. But that then... Oh, or maybe that's the slipper clutch. I don't think I've ridden a bike with a slipper clutch before. Yeah, the sensitive throttle is a tad annoying. The sad thing is I can't try the Enduro version. Because uh, as much as I freaking love the look of this supermoto, I don't really want to limit my options of going off-road. I mean, I'm not really the one to like play in the mud and stuff, but still, every now and then, Wanna get on gravel, maybe a bit of sand. But other than the throttle being really sensitive, it's not really twitchy. I mean, the, the fueling is really good. See, the brakes are, of course, good Brembo's. Let's see if I go to higher gear, low down. Oh, she's gonna... Yeah, low down, she's a little bit uh, twitchy. But that's understandable. It's not the way she's meant to be ridden. Oh my lord! Come on, pace yourself, you're still in the city. It's kind of difficult to ride it in a straight line. It's just so much more fun. Wow, she takes a little bit muscling around the corners. It's a thing of finesse, I guess. But I think mainly that's the thing. I'm used to big ass wheels, 21 front and 18 back. And this is 17 all around. It's a different beast. It's weird. This selection doesn't uh, like to stay upright. Constantly wants to lean a little bit it's a little like a uh, swimming I don't know I can't explain the sensation a 
loving these brakes. Uh, sitting, a lot of space to move around on this bike, which is, which I like. You can go all the way up front. It's quite good. And more to the back. It's more relaxed, upright seating position. Okay. Let's get this little tiny dash cleaned up. Okay, I'll see you all the lean. Yep. <laughs> good. Feels good. Accelerating feels really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that with these small tires, it's so much more flickable at higher speeds. Like, like with my bike, if you're going over 90, it's really difficult to put her into a lean. She's like on rails. I mean, on rails. She's flapping around in the wind, but. Also, I'm quite eager to get on the highway because I really, really want to test it out at higher speeds. The guy said in the shop that even at high speeds, even the Enduro version should be quite, quite stable. <laughs> oh, this little evil thing. That Acra. Never ridden a bike with an Acra before. Yes, it's Akrapovich. And I gotta say, it's a lovely note. It's a strong rumble, but uh, it's not really obnoxious. It's low, it's grunty, it's not all that loud when it's um, at lower revs. Oh dear lord! What? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I'm already at 140. At an instant. How did that happen? When did it happen? Let's see now, the wind. Somehow, I should say, the wind is less obnoxious than on my bike. And she's stable, like on rails. Still flickable. Going on in 20. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, and she will still accelerate. Damn. Oh, fox sticks. Okay, this is um, this is intoxicating, man. That's weird. That looks like with some cars, you don't you don't have the sensation of speed. I mean, this is nothing. This is like so freaking stable. Oh, how can this be? How is this possible? Let's see. Yeah, see, no problem. A little bit of muscle input, but that's it. That's all you need, man. Woo! And even the wind noise. Okay, let's see, because maybe it's because of the wind is from the other side. Let's go back the same way. Okay, that's gravel here. Yeah, you can really lean her. <laughs> ah, bugger! Okay, let's have another round. And again, gravel. Come on! This is not the right bike for gravel. Ooh. I can already feel the anxiety building up. The adrenaline. As you know, the surge that is gonna be... Oh, man! Oh, Lord! The front wheel lifted! Oh, Jesus! Okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now that's where the wind is. There's a lot of wind now. I'm a freaking sail on this thing. Well, obviously, for touring, it would need a windscreen or something. This is not comfortable. But damn, this engine! Um, 
I mean, even in the Enduro version is half of this. And really the only thing I can compare it to is the 690 from the year 2016. So not the new version, not the 2019 version, but the older version. And that thing, it only came to life at higher revs. But this one, it really doesn't matter. Oh wow. Let's see, 95 cruising. It's still windy. But yeah, the stability, the way she stands on the road. And the clutch is really light, let's see. Uh, one finger clutch. Yeah, easily, two fingers, no problem. Yeah, the engine braking is really, really, well, non-existent. I'm surprised about that. And slow speed, still stable. The first impression I had at slow speed was uh, a definite lack of stability, but it's just a different kind of bike. You gotta get used to it. And once you get used to it, perfectly fine. Yeah, but if I owned this one, I wouldn't hold on to my license for long. No, I probably would. I'm a responsible human being. Yeah, but it's a definitely one finger brake. No need for any other. With the back brake, the ABS kicks in quite easy. But it still functions well. Okay. Yeah, actually this um, weird throttle action might mean that it's not all that enjoyable around the traffic. But the other end again, in the slower traffic, if you keep the revs a little bit higher, it's a bit better. But still, even a little bit of input with the throttle, slightly jerky. Okay, that's basically it. That's kind of all I wanted to know about this. She does need a little bit more work uh, in the city. Kind of why I need to try the Enduro version, because it should be somewhat softer, different gearing. Might be a tad uh, more enjoyable around the town. But actually, now that I think back to my first bike, the Hornet, which was an inline four engine 600cc bike, she was also, it took me a lot of time to get used to the really, really super sensitive throttle. So I know it's possible, it can be done. Yeah, but the bike itself feels really light. If you come to a standstill, only now I had to put, put the leg down. The center of gravity seems to be quite low. And she's maybe a little bit lower than my bike. So it doesn't really feel that way. Because I can't put my heels down. Well, well, I can just about put my heels down. I'm 183, which should be like 6-1, I think. Well, okay, I can put the heel down, but only on one side. And it just might be that the rut is higher on that side. <laughs> so essentially, I'm still on my toes. My hand is a little bit cramped, especially the throttle hand, because I'm trying to control this bower. The clutch is light and it feels uh, very, very controllable, I mean, very precise. But the seat feels comfortable, it's, I mean, it's hard, but uh, the shape of it is molding around my ass quite nice. Well, actually, my ass is molding around it pretty nice. Feel good. Yeah, but it's really, really hard. <laughs> the suspension on this is not soft. Again, another point that might be to the Enduro version because uh, it's gonna have a more plusher ride. It being a springtime, the roads are just broken, totally broken from the winter. <laughs> Man, that exhaust is just ridiculous. And the whole front end feels a lot lighter than on mine. Again, maybe that's because of the 17-inch front wheel.
Well, that's possible with this bike. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. <laughs> Again, an excellent choice of bike if you want to lose your license real quick. But yeah, the Acura, it's also nice and quiet. Uh, well, at stable speeds, lower revs. Uh, oh, here. Slow speed of maneuvering. Feels good. And the steering lock is really nice as well. Hello, you beauty. I mean, as much as I love black and orange combination, I kind of dig the light look of this, the white look of this. Yeah. Oh God, I need to try the Enduro.